And welcome back to the Spoiler Kings. Guys, Dungeons and Dragons was amazing, in my opinion. I can't wait to hear what everyone else was thinking about it. I'm Brian the Grizzly here with Nick Kramer and Brand Man Brandon. Guys, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me something. What you think about this whole Dungeons and Dragons? So it had no business being this good. It had no business being as good as it was. Holy crap. Such a fun time. You know, it was it was um you know, I was thinking, oh, at the very least, it's going to be it's going to be an improvement over the uh, 2001 with Jeremy Irons and Marlon Wayans. But this just really blew my expectations out of the water. Mm. Holy crap. I, I, I haven't had that much fun in the theater in a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, very, very, very tongue in cheek. Um you know, just the, the 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 tone was absolutely perfect for a Dungeons and Dragons movie. The cast, were, you know, great cast. There was I was never I was never a D and D player. I've read that there were some great callbacks to the um, to the games. Yeah, there was one in particular. Yeah, there was one in particular. Um, just knowing the '80s cartoon that was that was freaking great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I had a great time. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go see it again. I might even, um, heck, I don't even think I have too many plans tomorrow. I might just go to tomorrow after work again because I enjoyed it that much. <laughs> when did Hugh Grant finally, like, one day st- say to himself, "I'm gonna stop being in these romantic comedies and basically playing it the same," and then ended up going like, "I'm gonna be this. I'm gonna be this great character actor." You know, just from the Guy Ritchie movies he's been in the past couple of years. Operation Fortune, he was great in. The Gentleman, he was great in. This, he was absolutely hilarious in. He realized he was getting old, yeah, so just, he had to just, change his thing. He had to change yeah. it up a little bit. He's mm-hmm. going curveball. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He, oh, I don't want to say he didn't age gracefully, but uh, he was definitely getting older. And it's harder to do what was... Uh, yeah, he was like the old he like you know talking about. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> What do you think, Tank? What do you think about the Dunstan Dragons? Um, man, I, I, I didn't say you know, like Brandon said. It had no business being that good, and it really didn't. Mm-hmm. Like a good, a good cast. I'm like, okay, I love Michelle Rodriguez, love Chris Pine. Um, um, mm-hmm. Who is it? Uh, uh, Justice Smith, super, super great. I like him a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and Hugh Grant. I was like, yeah, you know, big. Like, Hugh Grant been in like some of the Guy Ritchie stuff, but nothing big, big yet. You know. Yeah. Like, I feel like this was, like, the first big theater kind of thing he's been in in a while. Um, he has been in other things. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of... Smaller. Yeah, stuff. he's been doing a lot of supporting roles, yeah. you know, like um, like like I mentioned a minute ago, he was in Operation Fortune. He was absolutely hilarious in that. Yeah, yeah, which I, I um, didn't want to see that one. Um, the chat is just saying exactly what I want to tell you guys. Reggie yeah. uh, Jean Page, every scene that he was in, was unbelievable. <laughs> the dude was so cool. Even though he, he, he mm-hmm. was just so suave. Even not even you know he's he's obviously not he, not human, but just it's cold. Like he's one of those things that blow up something and just can be walking around slowly. Like as he walking with you, <laughs> like he just was so awesome. Every scene he was in, uh, mm-hmm. I wonder, but yeah, yeah, he was like a badass. I was really that was like one of my bad things was I I, I thought he was going to be in the mm-hmm. main battle at the end and he really wasn't. But he was, yeah. I liked his style of character because it would remind me of someone like Drax, where everything's very straightforward, very literal. you know, yeah. Yeah, very literal, yeah. Um, which was funny, mm-hmm. and then also like everything yeah. with uh, his powers was like, mm-hmm. it, he 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 was he was just a badass, you know. He just looked, yeah. I like cool. that they I like that they played it for laughs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, just like you for know. me, I'm not, I'm not a big paladin. Kind of person because they they always seem like a holier than thou kind of like I'll heal you oh I'll be a, I'll be a tank at this time it was like, so paladins <laughs> are kind of that few guys but um and also our, my friend Armando is a big paladin player ah, in, the, okay. in everything so so I can talk trash to him um I don't know, yeah I, but I thought it was so cool that he was so powerful he was like no you're on your own crusade you don't really need me you need to figure out these things about yourself. 
Like he sees, like, oh, it's nice you guys are on your little crusade. I've done ten thousand of these. It's like he's, he's a, a D and D player who's been doing it for so long. He's so good. Mm-hmm. If he entered the game, mm-hmm. the game changes. So he decided to hold himself out. And then when you guys get big enough, then you could join me. I felt like that way the whole time. Like every scene he was in, he's just so cool. Just like, oh yeah, I got I got all the cool stuff. I know how to do all these things. I know how to answer all the questions. I know how I know all the doors. I know all the tricks. Right. And that, that's why I kind of my mind when I saw. Yeah. Even when mm-hmm. they introduced him, I thought that was it was so like like pretentious a little bit, but it, in a funny way. <laughs> yeah, man. definitely, yeah. definitely. Like, like, oh, he he <laughs> just held me. He didn't kill me. And <laughs> He just held my head, and I, I and I died, and I trusted him. I was like, it's so stupid. And it was just, <laughs> but it fit, it fit the character. It is like how how automatically trust. And then everyone in the group knew who he was. It was all I heard about, you know, except for um, Chris Pine. He was yeah, not him. Mm-hmm. He's so. like, I don't know this guy. Everyone else, like, well, actually, I heard him. <laughs> so yeah. that was just so funny. It was, um, yeah, it really was. That, real quick, that's one thing I should say this movie did the best was able to take action f- and funny and like stuff like that and, and put it together really perfectly. You know, yeah, it, it was funny, and then the action was great action. Michelle Rodriguez kicked ass, but the, the funny mm-hmm. was on point. Chris, she's like kicking ass, and Chris Pine is sitting there trying to break his chains, like yeah. break his little rope. Like, and we got him now. <laughs> On the ropes, then let's go. <laughs> so then, uh, I'm mm-hmm. not agree. All right. I'm sure. Is there anything? I'm sure. I'm trying to think of what. What? What? What was that? I was going to no, say, I was, I was trying to think of what haven't said anything because we're talking about all these things, but is there anything good that we haven't said that you really want to make sure you make a point before we go into any bads? Well, I think we already, um, I think we already mentioned the tone, the, um, you know, the acting, the action scenes, how it kind of combined action and comedy. It almost kind of, re- there were elements that kind of reminded me of a Knight's Tale. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. That's what I want to say next. But I, I think that was, yeah, I think for the most part, that was, that pretty much covers it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I will give one last thing. The, the visual effects were pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yep. they weren't like mm-hmm. um, what's her name, the druid who would shapeshift. That was yeah. pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, what was she? Yeah, like, Albert yeah. or some stupid, which was awesome. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was, I, I thought that was really good. I mean, even the games, even the, the maze was good. Everything was so well thought out. As someone like you, yeah, if you played Dungeons and Dragons, you understood why they were doing what they were doing, and even if you win, you can lose, and that's it's a point that they kind of. Made sure you understood. You can win this game. You can get to the middle of this maze. It doesn't mean that you're going to win. And I thought that was very intelligent. It was very nice that they were able to pull that out because that happens all the time. Oh, I made it to the win. I'm the winner. And then you and someone came to cut cut your neck and you lose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that that's kind of the thing I, I I got out of it. Yeah, they they, they set up emotions really well too. You know, what I mean, yes. like you, yeah. you felt for. Mostly for the main character, you know, even even Michelle Rodriguez. I think at one point you kind of like, oh, you know, all the shit she went through. Yeah. But I was yeah. the Pine's character. Like you're like, oh shit, and then then more comes out later. You're like, oh damn, you know. Yeah. So it, it gets you emotionally invested. I think enough where you're you you're really rooting for them by the yeah. end. Yeah. The the humor, the 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 comedy, and the um, and the drama. Kind of uh, balance, kind of reminded me of Thor Ragnarok a little bit, mm-hmm. um, where it, it it was it, it had just that like like a good enough balance between the two. Good story, yeah. along with good characters, mm-hmm. good ge- good character development, um, and then you know even when you hurt, hurt like see, the Hoga's hurt, you know whatever, seeing that you know still it, you know, it was a little guy and she was <laughs> she's just big brawny woman. The the, the 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 dichotomy of that it was so cool i i enjoyed that so i mean they did it multiple times and then chris pine was you know comparing his wife and then you know i'll get to this this other part because i i don't like this one part but you know it is what it is so let's get right into it any negatives Wait, anything you didn't like before oh, we get ahead. into the negatives you want to you want to bring up some of these comments real quick yeah let's we'll, we'll knock a few of them out because there's one horror geek brought up that 
that I did find out. I did like. All right, let's go. Love Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Razor Gene Page and Justice Smith being my favorite things about the movie. All right, mm-hmm. I got you. I'm with that. Even with uh, good legs, <laughs> its international numbers are probably too low to be profitable, but I, I hope it does really well once it hits streaming. You know, it did beat John Wick. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons beat John Wick this week, which is pretty cool. Yeah, which is going to at least knock it off the number one spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Regine Page was a scene stealer, a great cast, a fun time at the theater. It was fun. Yes. It was a lot. Yeah. Uh, he was basically a dungeon master that helps when needed and gives win because he's OP. Yeah. That's exactly mm-hmm. what it is. <laughs> exactly. He, he would give you like the info that you need and then dip out. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. The bridge scene was awesome. He goes, oh, it's simple. You go this way. I started laughing how complicated it got. <laughs> and, then, and then, of course, uh, Justice Smith or Simon just touches it like, oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> I didn't know the bridge started here, which was funny. Uh, Timber Show and D&D Big Boy Dragon got a few laughs from my audience. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Boy Dragon. Yeah. That was awesome. I mean, Reggie Jean Page to be a superhero movie role next. I can see that. I can really see that. I hope someone grabs him. He's such a great actor. Like I was looking like, what else did he do? And I was like, oh, I understand. What, what else was he in? He's been a lot of stuff. But what's the the number one is um, uh, what's the name? Bridgerton. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. So you know, they, people love that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bridgerton. But he's almost too good looking to be a superhero. <laughs> nah, you can. I don't know, man. You can, you can find. You can, good. You, you you can't be too good. You can never be too good looking for a superhero. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> yeah, but they had to the goofy. They had to make him so goofy so you don't have to think about it. <laughs> but people were still thinking about it in the context of the Thor movies. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they used a lot of practical stuff for the movie, like uh, Jonathan, the, the bird person. Yes. That was hilarious. That was the whole time, he goes, is Jonathan here? Is Jonathan? <laughs> oh. I would really like to get back to my story, but Jonathan is the making part. He's the one I really wanted here. <laughs> and yeah, that was great. It was, it was funny when they, they, mm-hmm. they they're like, we, we, we granted you release, and they jumped out the window with Jonathan anyway. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, like this wouldn't have been a movie at all. Wouldn't have been the problems at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, never played a game. I know um, nothing about it. It's an adventure thing. It's an adventure game. You're playing with all your friends. There's a lot of scenarios that you got to go through. Um, there's a dungeon master that who is really telling you the story, and it's great. I mean, yeah. it's it's a lot of fun. And for if you're a nerd and you had nothing to do on a Saturday night. This is what you know. You play Dungeons and Dragons, or you play Risk, or play something a game like that type of sort, you know. But it's yeah, very, very long form yeah. game. Yeah, and you know, it, it was um, it, it was it's nice to see more fantasy other than um, you know, like Harry Potter or the Lord of the Rings movies that are are legitimately solid. I do think that it um. It had some good world building, and should they make sequels, it did kind of leave some doors open for, um, you know, some some other um, some other elements that they could explore. I think. Agreed. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. it 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 made, it made it made some it was fun, and you know, fun is good sometimes. It, it was, you know, it, it but you it, know, kind of the fun that I was expecting from like say Shazam. It came out a little bit earlier, um, a couple of weeks beforehand. It was just fun. It was just a fun time, you know? All right. With all mm-hmm. that fun time, what negatives did you have about the movie? Mm-hmm. Um, I do remember at the end, I kind of wanted more out of the um, out, out of out of the arena scene. I think there could have been a little bit more they could have done there. Um, I do think that... You know, there there were a little, there were a couple parts that kind of fell into cliche or predict uh, predictable ter- uh, territory. The I'm 
kind of curious to see how the humor ages a couple years down the line. Like, uh, by that, I mean, you know, like, say, for example, when, when Ragnarok came out, everyone thought it was freaking hilarious. And then a couple years later, um, people still like Ragnarok, but at the same time, there's people out there that you'll be like, uh, it was too dumb, and they made Thor too much of an idiot, and all this other stuff. So I'm kind of curious to see how it, um, how, how, the, how the humor ages mm-hmm. in, in a few years. Okay. Um, and, you know, um, I know I mentioned the balance. It, it, it definitely worked for the movie more often than not. I could kind of see how the, um, how, how the, um, the strike up between humor and drama may not sit well with certain people. Personally, it, it worked for me. I thought it was, I thought it was great mm-hmm. and I thought it was fun, but, uh, you know, I, I, I see, um, you know, I could see how it may not sit well with, with, with certain people, but, but, uh, but overall I was, those were my main things. Okay, okay. If you could even call them things. All right, thanks. Go ahead and get yours. My, I really only got one major one that I, I, I didn't care for um, was just the, the instant solve. Like the bridge went down, super funny scene. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, and then like, hey, we have a portal gun. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I get it. It was kind of, it was, it was a goofy thing and she didn't know what she had and this and that. And it kind of, mm-hmm. but but it just was too much of an instant relief or instant solution to something that was going to be a bigger problem. You know what I mean? And they even made fun of it. They're like, oh, see, we don't even need the bridge. Who needs the bridge? Like, it's not that big of a deal. You know, and I guess it, it was funny in that, but also it was just like, mm-hmm. really, you're going to introduce a problem and solve it within 10 seconds <laughs> of each other. Um, so that, that was my only kind of thing that really like irked me. Um, Mm -hmm. Oh, one other thing was, uh, and it's just, it's such a trope, the daughter, like, you know, just like, like, Oh, I told you not to leave and you left. So now I hate you. And uncle, what the hell, whatever his name was, um, forge, forge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uncle forge told me this and that. And he's like, what? And then right there, both, you know Helga, or yeah, Helga yeah. and and Chris Pine's character. I can't even think of his Ed, name. Ed, Edwin, Edwin, Ed, Edgen, Edgen, Ed, yeah, Edgen. Mm-hmm. Both were like, "What? He's lying!" And she was like, "What?" I was like, "Why would both of them lie to you and have the same instant reaction?" And you're like, "Wait, hold on." It was like, "So you mean the this this person who I don't know that was, I mean, that was he did take care of her for two years. I mean, or four years, a year was he." Or is it year two? Two. It was two? two years. Yeah. 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 Why did it so, take that long for him to come up with a plan if he, he's good at playing, making plans? Well, it's he's good years. at plan failing. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes a new plan. But um, but yeah, yeah, that like her her just like 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 oh I don't love you anymore because yeah. you didn't listen to me. It will, but I mean that's but, teen teen girls are, are yeah. Girls. I mean that's kind of it is what it is. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't bother me that that much. It was very tropey. I was um, like, Sarah, stop! Shut up, Sarah. She dude, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is she gonna die this time? Um, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, see, uh, George, the Druid need more character moments. Uh, she got mm-hmm. a big animal chase scene, but that's it. And then, that's it. yeah, cool. Character. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Very very cool character. Yeah. Simon got way and, um, more development in comparison. Okay. All right. For me, just uh, just to piggyback off of Tank a little bit more was, I was like, come on, man. So, I she never knew her mother, and Ed, 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 Ed was so in love with his wife that he didn't realize that that, that you know Helga Helga's been sitting there being being the the surrogate mom the entire time, and as much as you love Helga and that's your your friend and everything. You had a chance to bring back your wife. She couldn't do the same thing Helga was gonna do. Helga, <laughs> like, I think she couldn't do the same things like uh, Helga was gonna yeah. do. Like the the mother wasn't going to be able to have that same connection. She's only like eleven years old. You're probably gonna have a long time. I thought that you probably should have still brought back your wife. <laughs> it's just, mm-hmm. it's, me, me, my myself. You know, I was like, oh man, that's so bad, Helga. All right, let's Holga. go. Ahead. Uh, Helga, yeah. 
Olga. Mm. My bad. But it's let's okay. bring back let's bring back my wife anyway. Yeah. The, your, your mother, the one who you come from, so you can have that connection. <laughs> just, yeah. That's just yeah. Yeah, for you me. Sacrificed her life. To exactly. You. exactly. <laughs> I thought that that was like a little bit like, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You chose me. Yeah. I was like, yes, yeah, you. You're right. You chose wrong. I thought it was, mm-hmm. it was wrong choice too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. Well, huh. But well, at least they they kind of explained that with the whole uh, firefly. Or, it was uh, dragonflies. Yeah, dragonflies. You know? You know, it was kind of like representing his wife, and she's like, "Oh, let go." You know, like give give what makes the daughter happy. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? for now, yeah, because my mama, my mama was gonna make you happy too. My wife, yeah. we, we all happy. I get my wife back, you get your mom back. You know where you came from. You know, she's gonna understand me a lot more than I would. Yeah, Helga got to the die of warrior's death. Exactly. <laughs> It's the, it won't have to be un- unhappy because small people don't like her. <laughs> so. There, there is um. So real, real quick, I just want to just completely, I because it was such a a quick thing. Was uh, Helga's first Holga. husband? Yeah, Hol- Holga. Holga's first husband. When she goes to see him, and he's really that was like, hilarious. And then it's what's his name? <laughs> uh, I can, uh, drawing a blank on his name. What's his name? Um, we're, we're spoiling it, right? Um, yes. that was Bradley Cooper, yes, Bradley, oh, Bradley Cooper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that was so funny, so funny. That that was hilarious, yeah, that was good. That was like one of the parts that made me like consistently just crack up throughout the entire scene. Yeah. That his new Gwen is another like big warrior, big, chick. much bigger, mm-hmm. yeah, much bigger, yeah, a little bit bigger, <laughs> yeah. So that, that was, that was I just thought about that right now, but. Yeah, I I, I like their like like Orgy said. I really liked their relationship. Yeah, you know? yeah, you know? mm-hmm. And it was just like like siblings. Like siblings. Yeah, yeah. I love you mm-hmm. like my like a sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, and just if if you're between your sister and your wife, do you choose your sister or your <laughs> wife? <laughs> With your daughter right there, who's never yeah. known. Yeah. W- one thing I did like was was uh. Um, Ed, Edgen or Egan, whatever. Um, or Ed, what, I don't know what the hell they have such stupid names. Um, <laughs> that's a, well, I guess one thing I didn't like is stupid names. But he said he goes, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't as much as bringing back your mother as I was bringing back my wife. And I'm like, that was super. Like you see the light bulb go off in his head. Like oh, he mm-hmm. understands. He's like, I'm bringing her back for me. You know, like. Yeah, for you, maybe kind of, but more for me. You ne- you never knew her. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to look at it. I know? totally understand what you're saying, but I think that that's something you would enjoy. She would learn because it's not just you know, you have your 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 platonic mother who the one who or the one who's been playing mother for you, the one who's been there for you all your entire life. Yeah, it's cool, but you get to know the person who actually made you that actually gave their life up for you know where you come from you can start understanding more about yourself by knowing her you know I, that would have been a huge thing especially in development of, of a young girl so i holga is one thing but having your real mom at an age that you still can use her <laughs> I, I i don't know yeah. maybe I, th- I still think i chose the wife yeah probably but <laughs> But you know, it's uh, that's just a small thing. That's and I think it's more personal with this than, than for the movie. The movie was fine. The movie was good. I enjoyed every part of it. There's not a part in the movie where I like felt like I was need to fall asleep. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. So overall, like summary, anything you guys gotta say about this movie? What you got, Brandon? That's that's all I have. It was a fun time. Yeah. It was a fun, entertaining time. Yeah. You know, that that's that's really all I was hoping for with this, and and it, it delivered a lot more than than I would have ever expected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super fun, great cast, funny, good action. So, yeah, I liked it. Mm-hmm. Well, as great as everything is about this movie, the budget for this movie is one hundred and fifty million dollars. 
do I believe is going to make $150 million to break even? I'm not even trying to make money. Just will it break even? I don't know. What did it do on the weekend? Uh, 20, wasn't it 27 million or something like that? Wow, that's it. You know, and, and that was number one, which is good. It's good. Yeah. But to make $150 million for a $150 million budget, that's not talking about any marketing or any of the other stuff you had to do. That's it's going to have to do a, a big number. I know we don't have a big movie out for, I mean, what, four days? Because Mario comes out Wednesday. So, like, mm. <laughs> just, so does that hurt it in your eyes? Does the fact that it might only make $100 million, which means it's $50 million short of his budget, does that hurt it? We might not get a sequel. You know, I'm looking at it's 71 million globally and 150 million to produce and then another you know 10 10 the millions for marketing mm -hmm. yeah it that might not sucks. break even so as much as i enjoyed it and i feel like a lot of people did really enjoy the movie I and mean, we talk about the rotten tomatoes the tomato meter you know uh critics gave it 91 percent. what do you think the audience gave it Ooh, your critics gave it a 91? Yes, critics gave it a 91. Man, what do you I think hope, the audience? I hope the audience likes it more than the critics. 97? I'm not sure. Yeah, I would say like 95. 94% for the audience. Hmm. So 91 and 94, and it only made... And exactly. Wow. And we're talking about this movie being a great fantasy adventure movie. One of the best we've seen. This is the, my favorite movie I've had this year. Yo, and, I'm hoping it gets some legs. I'm hoping word of mouth gets it. Like, remember, Avatar One didn't have a good opening weekend, and now look at it; it's the best movie of all time. So, best movie of all time, but it also didn't have Air, yeah. Super Mario Brothers, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, all that stuff following it. Yeah, and John Wick, because John Wick is not going to go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a tough time, guys. It's just a tough time. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> or geek said. Yeah, it's, uh, with names like Zenic, Egan, Holga, Dorch, Forge, and then there's Simon. <laughs> there's, there's always one. There's, there's always, always one. one. Yeah. So those are our opinions about this movie, about Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um, if you're looking at us a replay, um, I want you guys to jump in the comments. Let us know what you thought about Dungeons and Dragons. I mean. Audience score ninety four percent. Are you going to give it a chance? Are you going to go out this weekend? I mean, a lot of people are going to spring break. A lot of people are having break for Easter. A lot of people, a lot of families, you know, after Easter brunch and everything, go out to the movies. This is a big movie weekend for you. Will you give Dungeons and Dragons a watch, or is it all Mario all the time? Let us know what you guys are thinking. Um, so hit the like button on this. Uh, we're looking. Please hit su subscribe. We're looking forward to get to our thousand subscribers. Um, let us know what you guys are thinking about it. Hit the bell notification so you can join us for our live our live streams. This is fun. I can't wait to see what, what happens next week. I can't wait to revisit this next week when we're going to talk about did it make money again? Did it make the same amount of money? Is it still number one? Or did Mario knock it off? Or did John Wick come back for another week three? Did people not see John Wick and decide to come see it again? Um, cannot wait to see what you guys think. Thank you guys for uh, being part of this conversation, but we're going to go to another topic.